Good morning, folks, feels electric in Pittsburgh just days from observing the frontier. Let's begin with an update to the story as we headed into the weekend. Level 3 magnetic storms with lots of potential effect candidates, and now we look for the tropical storm development. There are five Uyen storm candidates at the moment. The one south of Mexico could gain on the storms we had last night as well. But we'll get to those in a moment. Looking at the last 24 hours on our star makes me want a closer look at that left side south of the equator. Looks messy. Otherwise, the primary feature is still that departing coronal hole up north. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com and notice a trend up in C-class flaring. The culprits are on the south incoming. Finally, some sunspots managed to stave off decay for a moment possible complexity building in the center, and what appears to be a large sunspot at the focal zone of the eastern limb. Sunspots flaring in a big plasma filament as the city walls. Eyes on it as the Earth-facing solar quiet will be tested with that one. But the imminently relevant space weather is the corona hole stream impact in the solar wind. Although not major, we do see the yellow speed rise, and Earth saw more magnetic storms overnight. They were minor, so we wouldn't expect any relevant electrical effects, and yet the magnetic pulsations were highly unusual, and we had multiple effect candidates indeed, like power outages and at least six emergency landings that may be electrically related, including multiple accessory devices appearing to have caught fire mid-flight. Website members, if you'd like to know more about how space weather affects your health, flying or on the ground. The Humans and EM section of the website does a good little introduction and there's a lot of links for you to click through. The culprit for these magnetic storms is that northern corona hole. The stream could be in effect for days due to its size and the next one is incoming now as well. Over the last two days the power has surged up in the north and stayed strong in the incoming opening. After seven weak days, we're finally seeing the earthquake power, and any uptick there would be easily noticeable as we've had nothing but these mid-level rumbles for quite a few days in a row now. Article of the day goes to NOAA, in comparison to the current El Nino with the 97-98 El Nino. It's worth a click. We've got the pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, followed by global current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.